to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating We are back again Another haul video These are all VHS this time um, I'm going to skip the gloves Because they're turning out to be a pain So start off here Some of these I might do individual videos for As I learn more about them uh, this is, I thought it was a steal. Uh, Jackie Chan triple movie box set. This guy, Rumble of the Bronx, Mr. Nice Guy, and Jackie Chan's First Strike. These two I own already. This one I don't know if I've even ever seen, unless it's, I've seen it under a different name. Uh, maybe I saw that when they re release it. Um, that'll go along with my Bruce Lee box set. I like doing box sets, so maybe we'll talk about that one more. Although, I doubt it. Uh, pick this up Poltergeist to Legacy. Um, these are cool finds too. These are the these those two are 20th Century Fox Studio Classics and a Warner Brothers Special Edition, uh, all brand new, S sealed, never opened. Got the mail in rebate, three dollars. Uh, so there we got Titanic, not the James Cameron one. All about Eve. These two I've never seen, but I will, I promise. And then Maltese Falcon which, believe it or not, I just watched for the first time maybe two weeks ago on HBO, HBO Max. I watched it at work one night. So, these black clamshell packages, as we've talked about before, I'll buy pretty much anything in them. Uh, they're probably my favorite as far as somewhat modern day cases. And then these, as we've talked about before, these MGM uh, big box, coffin box ones, are coming out to be my second favorite. I just think these are cool. I mean, once I and I'll eventually start getting the big, big boxes, and that'll be a lot of fun. Um, run a, runaway Train, which I doubt we'll talk much more about this one. I uh, just thought that was cool. And this one, definitely, I won't do anything on Wayne Newton at the London Palladium. Uh, these I'm just getting just to keep in the archive because I want to start collecting these MGM big boxes. So I might start collecting very specific things. MGM big boxes, anything in these black clamshell packages. And there's something else that was on my mind that I just can't think of. Uh, like the big, big boxes. Uh, these I picked up just for fun. Pokemon, the first movie. Uh, my daughter has a VHS player in her room. so and, and she was a big Pokemon fan as far as the cards go. I don't know if she's much into the movies. But after I do videos on those or whatever, I'll turn those over to her. I'll pick this up. Believe it or not, this was eight dollars. Eight dollars at half price books. I want to say all these, all these I picked up at half price books, different ones on different days. But this is a haul the past couple weeks. And I just realized that this thing opens. It's got a flap on it. But out of all of them, this is the most expensive tape that I bought recently. Um, we'll get to that one last. This one, Planetary Traveler. I don't know anything about. Well, not when I picked it up. I kind of looked into it now. It's an all-computer-generated gen all movie. I just thought it was interesting. Got this from Half Price Books as well, and the guy there gave it to me for free. Because there's no all these... There's an average price, like $2 per tape, unless it's marked differently. Some of them are marked differently. Uh, but he just gave that one to me for free because he didn't know much about it. But I might actually rip that thing completely. This was a sweet find. We'll talk about that more eventually. But, you know, so look forward to that video. So I love this movie. I thought this was crazy, a crazy find at half-price books nonetheless. And then this goes along with uh, the MGM kind of big boxes. So I doubt, well, maybe I'll do another video on that, I'm not, not quite sure. That was my haul this week. Uh, this was, I think it only cost $2. I don't think it was any different than the other ones, maybe it was 5 bucks at most. Uh, so that was, that was the VHS haul for this week. Like I said, maybe we'll go in depth on some of these. Um, but I just thought that was a pretty good score. Uh, for those of you not aware, I do have another channel that I started up. It's called VHS RIP. VHS, you know, rest in peace slash VHS uh, rip. Because I'm going to take a lot of these weird random movies, uh, like this one I've done already, and I'm ripping uh, the beginning. The start of the movie, not the start of the film, but the start of the tape all the way up to the feature presentation. So all the previews and stuff we used to see on old VHS tapes, I'm going to catalog those. So any one of these that have cool trailers and stuff on VHS, I'm doing rips of throwing it onto the alternate channel, as well as if I do individual videos, I'm going to try and link the uh, trailer in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed that haul video. It was a lot of fun collecting these. I'm going to hit up 
more stores here in the next week or so. So we'll be doing more haul videos. Uh, if you guys like them, I'll keep doing them. Oh, wait. There's one more. Good job. This is the absolutely fabulous box set. Series 1, Series 2, and Series 3. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tapes. I don't know. Look, it says, and it says complete collection. So I thought that's, this was a steal. I got this at the same time. This was $5. That was $8. And that was $5. This is 5 bucks. It's crazy. I used, was a big fan of the show when uh, it used to be on Comedy Central back when Comedy Central was good. Back in the 90s when I had kids in the hall. Uh, they used to run old Saturday Night Lives. Uh, Mystery Science Theater was on there. It was pretty much all shows, with the exception of Mystery Science Theater, that um, came from other channels. You know, Absolutely Fabulous was one of them. Like I said, Kids in the Hall and Monty Python. All this stuff is in syndication, but I, I couldn't pass this up for five bucks. I may pass it on and sell it on eBay. Maybe I'll keep it in the collection because I thought it was kind of cool. I just like the style of it. Um, I haven't really looked too much into it. Pretty much everything's somewhat the same. Just kind of different colors. But I almost forgot this one. I had it setting to the side. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. Later.